Okay. We're here with Alexis Bolin, who is in Pensacola, Florida, and Alexis has been with ERA for how many years, Alexis? 25. 25 years, and you started with the company you are with today as a new salesperson, is that correct? That's right, Francois. I've been all 25 years with the same broker. And, uh, and you've been with ERA as well that long? Yes, sir. 25 years. And during, I th if I understand correctly, your entire career, you have been in the top, you have consistently and regularly been in the top 10% of all the ERA salespeople through your entire career. Is that right? How about the top 10 out of 20-some thousand? The I top 10 agents. Top 10 agents. Okay. So you've obviously been extremely successful, and you've been number one three different times. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. So now that we've set the groundwork, which is uh, important to understand to calibrate the, the comments that you'll make, then the question I would ask you is what would you attribute your success to? Taking care of the clients, customer service, above all else. Okay, now, w which sounds wonderful. Now, what specifically does that mean to you? Well, making sure, first of all, let's say we're working with a buyer, that we're finding the buyer exactly what it is the buyer wants and needs and not looking at what I think they should have that we satisfy the buyer's wants and needs. We follow up to make sure that everything goes smoothly. In other words, Francois, we take all of the problems off of the buyer's and seller's shoulders, and we take care of all of the transaction for them. We make it as seamless uh, as possible. We make it free of problems, and we make it the most pleasant experience as possible that they can have with a real estate agent. Now, you're not the broker or the owner of the company, is that right? That's correct. I'm an agent. Okay. Now, if somebody is going to be looking at this and think, geez, you know, if I had been doing this this long, I'd want to become the broker. Why have you chosen not to do that? Well, it's just something that I don't choose to do because once I become the broker of the company, then I'm managing people, and that's not something I want to do. It takes me away from being with the customer. And for me, it's all about being with the people, seeing the people and helping the people accomplish their goals, which is what's fulfilling to me. And then I can get my training aspect by going to the conventions and things and sharing ideas and swapping ideas with other agents, sharing what I do that may help them be successful. If a new salesperson today was looking into going into a career in real estate, such as you have done, mm -hmm. would you say that it's easier today, more difficult today, or the same today as when you started? Well, I, I think personally it's easier because when I started 25 years ago, we didn't have the technology we have today. And so it's so much easier because of the tools and, and things that we have to work for, particularly provided by ERA, um, to do so many things over the computer that we couldn't do back when I first got a real estate license. So I think that part of it's easier today. And if a new salesperson is starting out today and you had to say, make sure you do this or be sure to avoid doing that, what would be your, your, mo your point of most emphasis that you would want to be sure they do or avoid doing to guarantee their success? I think the most important thing for me, uh, Francois, as you well know, is to continue the education. What we do is we get a real estate license, and at that point we think we know something, and then we go to work for a broker, and we have some education at that level. But we need to continue the education is offered to us above the broker level, particularly through our franchise and so forth. And then we need to implement what we say. It's one thing to go and sit in a classroom and take notes. It's another thing to go back and put into practice what we see in the classroom. And so many times agents fail because they don't go back and they don't put together a plan to work by. So I think the most important thing is they should get the further education, they should put together a plan and the worst thing that they can do is not put together a plan. And that's what most agents do. They fail because they have no direction. They have no game plan to work by. That's like taking a trip. And if you were getting in your car and you were going to travel across Europe and you had never been outside your town or your country before, would you do this without a road map? And the answer should be no, you wouldn't. Right. But yet most real estate agents will go get a license. So you have a license to drive the car, right? You own a car. And then they just get in it and drive right. versus coming back, sitting down, putting together a plan of action to 
make them successful. So I think getting the plan together is one of the most important things, and failing to do so is the worst thing. That's correct. Alexis Bowling, thank you very much, and much continued success. Thank you. Thank you very much, Francois. It's my pleasure.